moving insights cows and human mental health. Who knew cows could teach us so much about ourselves? These gentle giants have a lot in common with us. They feel things deeply, form bonds, and have different ways of dealing with stress, just like us humans. A recent study looked at how cows behave and found interesting links to human mental health. By watching these animals, we can learn a lot about our own emotions and relationships. Cows, like people, have different personalities. Some are outgoing, others are shy. And just like us, they have different ways of dealing with new situations. This is where the idea of attachment styles comes in. These attachment styles shape how cows interact with their herd and handle stress. Sound familiar? It's not so different from how we humans behave in our own herds, our families, friends, and co-workers. By understanding cows, we might just understand ourselves a little better too. It's about understanding ourselves better. Let's break down these attachment styles. In cows and humans, there are mainly four types. First, there's the secure style. These are the lucky ones. They feel safe and calm even when things get tough. They're like the cows who don't mind being separated from the herd for a bit. Then there's the anxious style. These cows, or people, get really stressed when left alone. They might moo loudly or pace around. In humans, this might look like constantly texting a friend or partner when they're away. It's all about needing lots of reassurance. The avoidant style is interesting. These cows seem independent. They don't show much distress when separated, but that doesn't mean they're not stressed. In people, this might be someone who says they're fine when they're really not. Lastly, there's the disorganized style. These cows, or people, have confusing reactions to stress, wanting comfort but pushing it away at the same time. Let's put this into perspective with some examples. Imagine a cow named Bessie. She's secure. When the farmer moves her to a new field, she's curious and calm. She moves happily to her friends but doesn't panic. This is like a kid who's confident starting a new school. They're excited to make friends but don't cling to their parents. Now think of anxious Annie the cow. When separated from her calf, she moves non-stop. She paces and looks distressed. This might remind you of a friend who calls repeatedly when their partner is out of town, or a child who cries at daycare drop-off. Avoidant Angus is different. When moved to a new pasture, he seems unbothered. He grazes alone, not seeking out other cows, but his heart rate is up. He's stressed, just not showing it. Lastly, there's Daisy with her disorganized style. One minute she's following the farmer around for treats, the next, she's running away when he tries to pet her. Surprising findings from the pasture. Now, here's where things get really interesting. The study found some surprising things about these cow personalities. For one, anxious cows were actually more likely to approach and touch a new object in their field. Who would have thought? It's like they're saying, I'm scared, but I'll check it out anyway. This challenges what we often think about anxiety. We might assume anxious individuals always avoid new things, but sometimes that worry can push us to investigate. Another fascinating finding was about the avoidant cows. While they seemed calm on the outside, their bodies told a different story. Their heart rates were just as high as the visibly anxious cows. This teaches us not to always trust appearances. Practical tips for better relationships. So what can we do with all this cow wisdom? First, let's practice self-awareness. Try to notice your own attachment style in different situations. Do you get clingy when stressed? Or do you push people away? Knowing your style can help you understand your reactions better. Next, let's work on communication. If you're feeling anxious, it's okay to say so. You don't have to move loudly like our cow friends. But a simple, I'm feeling a bit worried can go a long way. For the avoidant types, remember, it's okay to ask for help sometimes. You don't have to graze alone all the time. For those around us, let's practice patience and understanding. If someone seems clingy, they might just need some extra reassurance. If someone seems distant, they might be struggling internally. Building a supportive herd community and connection. As we wrap up our journey from cow pastures to human psychology, let's think about the bigger picture. We're all part of various herds, our families, friend groups, workplaces, and communities. How can we use these insights to create more supportive environments for everyone? First, let's embrace diversity. Just as a herd of cows has different personalities, our communities are richer when we include and value all types of people. The anxious ones might keep us alert to potential problems. The avoidant ones might teach us independence. The secure ones can be a calm presence for all. Every style has its strengths. 
we can also work on creating secure bases in our communities. This might mean setting up support groups, mentoring programs, or just being that reliable friend who's always there to listen. When people feel safe and supported, they're more likely to explore, grow, and contribute positively to the group. Building a supportive community isn't about forcing everyone to be the same. It's about creating spaces where all types can thrive.